Hello everyone and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm here with Ivan, Kim, and George. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Just a friendly reminder that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. And if you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know. You can also leave a comment to help us improve, or just to tell us what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks we'll be playing today, starting with Kim. Hello, I'm playing a Bailey Toolbox kind of deck. It's a whole lot of fun to play, and I hope I can get some real value out of it. Very cool. All right, next up, we have George. Hey everyone, uh, today I'm playing uh, Indigo Dreams. It's an Ava deck that has a lot of cyan going on in it. Ah, so I guess you're, you're blue aligned today, huh? Interesting. All right, next up, we have Ivan. Hey guys, I'll be playing a Junila deck today, uh, very similar to the one I played where I just spent the whole game ramping. It's uh, just an updated version of that with some new tech cards with the new expansions expansions of this month and last month. Wow, okay, yeah. The, the version you had before was already very scary, so I, uh, I'm on the edge of my seat about this one. All right, and finally, we have me playing Grindon, Personal Trainer. This is a deck I call Swole Control, and it's all about controlling the board while I assemble a team of high-powered denizens. All right, that's it for the intros. Mulligans have been complete. Let's begin the game. Okay, so I think to start off, I will play my Kaunea for oh. sure. You always and seem to get this on your first turn. I don't know how, but... You know, it's just, uh, what can I say? The cards love me, Alvin. <laughs> oh boy. And I invite you all to draw a card uh, and look at it and put it back on top of your deck. Um, following my Kaunea, I will play my Keldrian Vault. Oh, Keldrian Vault, nice. Yes, Keldrian Vault. So I think I'll take my free draw now. Yeah, I think this is the correct play. So I'll be putting a counter on my Keldrian Vault. Now and I'll end my turn. Okay, get my gold for turn. I will play uh, with one gold, my training dummy. I'll use my free draw. Yeah, I think that's good for me. I'll pass that way. Great. I'll start my turn off by playing my Dangerous Path. I'll take my free draw already because with the Kalnea, uh, I know what my card is and I oh. want it. Cool. Um, then I will use its arrival ability to look at the top card. Nice. Maximizing value. Love to see it. Very nice. Uh, I'll make sure to put it on the bottom. Then I will use my one to play Intelligence Report. Uh, and I'll combo! Now oh, you can right. find out turn how many one. unique denizens Ivan's got in his hand. Uh, let's find out. I'm going to put down my hidden flower patch. Okay. And I'm going to place my one goal inside and draw a card and pass my turn. All right. Very nice. I'll go up to gold. I'll put a counter on this Kedrian Vault. All right. I hope someone's and got a roadblock. His history of education. Let's hope not. I have not drawn yet, so I'll do that now. Yeah, let's not give you guys any advantage. So let's play Hidden Waterfall and abandon my Kalnea to right. draw a card. And I'll end my turn like that. All right, awesome. So we've got no more alignment. So I'll go ahead and play this location that was in my hand. And now I'll use my free draw. And then I'm going to play a card called Fight Starter. So there are no denizens in play. So there's no point for me to use his arrival ability. But I will use the statue to give him extra health. Pass it over to you, Kim. Great. Uh, I'll start by going up to my gold, and I'll play Dangerous Path. Ooh, again. another one. Cool. The sequel. The sequel. Uh, I'll look at the top card again. I will put it on the bottom, and then I will draw my card for turn. I'll play Restless Pyromaniac for my two gold and pass my turn. Hmm. All right. Okay. Turn two, two gold. Play the campaign, remove distractions, and I will draw a card and and pass my turn. Very nice. I'll be putting a counter in my history of education. Explosive turn, I suspect. Maybe. 
Uh, it's still not too clear what I should do here. But I'll start with a hidden cave. I'll take a redraw. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep ramping. I think. I'm Can very afraid. Your cards? It's a little bit of waste, but it's okay. I don't need absolute value all the time. Yep. There you go. Is that your uh, min while you max? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is. It is indeed. Yep. Yeah. Off to a scary start. Yeah, and I think I'll be using my history of education to draw a card. This man has six cards on the field. Six yeah, cards in I... hand. Stop him. I yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my darndest. We've already got public enemy number one. Mm. Yeah, Bingo. So much is written. Abandon my grand fish market to draw a card. Okay, I'll yeah. pass turn. All right, so on your turn four, you're going to have access to nine gold. No big deal. No big deal <laughs> at all. Stop him. Grab my gold for turn. Use my free draw. Um, okay, so Kim, I'm not going to mess with you at all because I Wonderful. am very scared of all the farmers that are going to be generated. The Basically, the, the Ketterin Vault about to have. is crazy. He's got more ramp. Uh, I'm not afraid of you at all, so I'm not going to mess with you, and I'm hoping you're not going to mess with my, my dude too much. <laughs> So I'm actually not going to challenge anyone. I'm not going to force anything. I'm, he's just, You're the fight star is just going to chill. I'm trying to draw into a roadblock. Give me time. Buy me some oh. time. Buy yeah, you time. one more All right. turn. All right, I'm going to play a javelin yeah, chucker because that might come in handy later. And then I'm going to play a bomb research. So I'm going to attack fight starter into the hidden waterfall. And it's going to take two damage. My guy's going to become hostile in the process, but me thinks Tis worth it. All right, Kim, pass it over to you. Great. I'll take my free draw. You guys better draw into those roadblocks. Oh, I was I was trying, man. I really, really wanted that roadblock. Yeah, I'm going to pay one to activate my intelligence report. Very cool. Look at each opponent's hand, uh, and then draw a card and lose this item. So let's see what we got going on. Wow. How, how many unique denizens does Ivan have in his hand, I wonder? Let's see. Ivan, what do you got going on? I got a lot Ivan going has on. Tren Academy Professor, and I'll leave the other. Uh, I'll leave the others for my knowledge, personally. Okay, yeah, <laughs> very good. You're you're understanding the political play, but he's at least got a Tren, yeah. and you'll leave the others to your knowledge. That's amazing. Let's see if you guys can get rid of that card. You guys have any blue alignment to mess up with my hand? Speaking of, he has a blue line location. And a green aligned a little bit. Oh, ah, okay. So, so our plans are messing with fail. those won't matter. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna catch me lacking. And what about Alvin? What do you have in your hand? Okay, just some casual stuff. Nothing too scary. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take. I'll draw my card from intelligence report. Mhm. Mm then I'll play my champion, I guess. Cool. For two, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right. Three gold. Phase one. <sighs> Harsh. It's it's unfortunate. Okay, so I guess I guess I have to just play him now. I am playing Mauricio, the gloomy poet, right. and I'm also now playing Desire to Live. Oh, uh, okay. Can't. Not that's actually not bad. That's a good combo. And now that we have that cleared, uh, can resolve this, and we can draw two cards. What you I have to with? put Learn by Observation into my inactive and mm. keep my other card. And I still have a free draw. And I will draw it now. So I am... Fortunately, I did not get the roadblock, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I tried to, it. but I didn't get it. This is going to be an explosive turn, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, a casual uh, 9 gold. And, no big deal. Yeah, he's about to have a, like about like 12, 12 like at least 6 units and about 12 gold. Pass. All right, Ivan, do your damage. Uh, well, let's see how much I can do before you guys stop me. Let's start by creating a Diligent Farmer. I'll be going up one gold using mm -hmm. Diligent Farmer. Let's try to get some more options for myself. So let's put a Hidden Thicket down and free draw. All right. I, I still need more was... options, to be I honest. I don't think for a second that that's his only history education. <laughs> yeah, let's play my Kildrian Vault. All right. And up to nine. In the Play a grand lecture hall. Huh? I'll abandon a hidden crag. So I'll play my efficient workflow. Oh, that's a scary card. No, yeah. that's definitely bad news for us. In, in a deck with so much card draw, that's a very good card. Yes. Yeah. Put a counter. 
Okay. Got a counter. All right, two counters. Play diligent farmer. Go up a gold. Let's put a counter, and I'll pass turn. All right, awesome. Get my gold for turn. Get my phase counter. Free draw. All right, so I'm gonna do the whole table, a service here. I'm gonna use termination notice <laughs> to get rid of this. Please banish that. Right. No, to the bottom of your deck, Ivan. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and this bomb research is going to ping this farmer. That's fine. See if we'll play. This fight starter is going to attack into your hidden waterfall because maybe knocking you out of one ramp and a potential card draw from Abandon will be relevant. That's, that's fine. Okay, so interestingly enough, just from what I've seen so far, Ivan has been running pure ramp and pure card draw. So I'm going to... Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to take a risk and, and, and assume he's not running hostile punishers and I might be wrong, but I'm just going to, I'm going to try to, to sniff it out. Basically so? I, all I've seen is rampant card draw. So I think he didn't have much spots for a hostile punisher. So I'm going to have my javelin chucker finish off your, your night, uh, your diligent farmer there End my turn. I'll lose one gold and pass it to you, Kim. Beautiful. I'll start with my turn, gaining my gold and I'll play out my Dr. Smashington. Cool. For two. Definitely one of my uh, favorite items from the game so far. Nice. I might blow it up in a moment. First, mm, I'll take my mm. free draw. Mm. Uh, I'll attack my Restless Pyromaniac <laughs> into your Hidden Waterfall. Good That's choice. Fine. And then I'm going to use its ability for one to uh, deal two damage to Dr. Smashington. Nice. Immediately destroying it. Scoring four points. Going up for points. And I know it feels bad, but I'm going to have to pass my turn with one gold left. Yep. So. Oh. I've been there. Doing that. I've been there. Yep. George, follow the trend. Don't spend your last gold. <laughs> <laughs> Such a weird request. Uh, four gold. Turn four. Let us add that. And I will put... What do you mean? I will actually... Uh, Are you I playing will it? Play or what? it now. I'm I'm playing it. Okay. I'm playing it. So you're down to one gold. And I only now one gold. I also have to play my greedy merchant. Okay. Now I can drop them both, and I am putting my restraining order into the inactive zone. And I am going to use my free draw now. So I'm going to end and pass my turn. What do you got, Ivan? Turn five. Uh, Ivan definitely hampered me, which is unfortunate. <sighs> Take my free draw now. I use my education. I use my work the fields. All right, and then you're gonna use the farmer right away, going up to six gold. Yes. Honestly, I have to start just gaining points for the sake of gaining points. I'll be going up <clears throat> to gold by putting two counters on my hiddens. Mm -hmm. I'll then play Janila for three. I'll be using my senior tactician and I'll be scoring five points. I'll be unlocking his insight and I'll be getting a new card. Make sure to Grease click. Memories. Oh, okay. You got it. Oh. Uh, all this is new, so I guess I'll pass turn. I wish I could. I wish I just had one more gold, but whatever. All right. Get my gold, get my phase counter, free draw. Be but, careful, uh, man. I mean, everyone's been concentrating on me, but... It's true, it's true. I'm keeping an eye on everyone else, but I, I do think I need one more of this. <laughs> so I'm going to play the Barbarian Chieftain. It's really good because it gets through Crafty, so it doesn't care how smart you are. It's just going to beat you over the head anyway. So I'm going to attack uh, because he's also swift. That's he can fine. attack right away. It's um, amazing. Bomb research is going to ping your farmer. That's fine. Yeah, I was expecting. Right. I, I knew that was a possibility, but also I needed to start scoring points. Yeah, exactly. I think you made the right play for sure. All right, and then Javelin Chucker is going to attack into your Pyromaniac. All right. That's going to. Okay, that's pretty good. Go into inactive. And then, yeah, inactive. And then Fight Starter is going to attack into your Junila. For two. Yep. That's right. And then that's Fight right. Starter is going to challenge your Greedy Merchant. So Greedy Merchant is now forced to attack into this on your turn, George. Oh, wow. That is one heck of a way to clear a board. Yeah, serious. Pretty good. Yes, yeah, sirree. So now I'm going to go ahead and sell this item to get one more gold. And I'm actually going to play a campaign called Start Fights. So now I'm going to start disrupting the board even more with this. 
And Great. all right, I'm happy with that. Go ahead, Kim. Right. Use one gold to play burn mm -hmm. uh, against this javelin chucker. Ah, uh, there she goes. Then I'll take my free draw now that I have six cards in hand. Use another one gold to play Black Mora Powder. Then I'll use two gold to play Restless Pyromaniac. Oh, you had another one, eh? I did have another one. And then I'll use my final gold to activate its ability, attacking the Black Mora Powder. All right. Or doing damage attacking? to the Black Mora Powder. I think Kim meant the activated ability. Yeah. I've... Fine. And then I'll gain yeah. four points. Yeah. I guess I'll abandon my dangerous path. Mm -hmm. And Baz. Okay. Turn five. Five gold. Mm -hmm. Play my obstructive roadblock. So I'm going to play my campaign of history education. Uh, that's going to cost you uh, three. Which leaves me one. Now I, have, now I have enough space in my hand for my last uh, remove distractions, draw two cards. And remember, you cannot end the turn until this has done its attack. Absolutely. Challenge. Yeah. I put Dishearten into the inactive zone. I have now... A free draw I can still use. And I will sell my triumphant banner. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you're going to get four gold, go back up to five? Yes. Not a bad play, George. Thank you. Because now I also request my Denzian, the obnoxious name caller. And I also would like to use Desire to Live. <sighs> so your merchant is not going to get removed, I guess? No, no, he will not. No, he will not be being removed, actually. There's a specific Linkin Park song playing in my head right now. Sometimes. You don't know why. Uh, I think I may know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep that in mind. Design this rhyme to proclaim in due time. Guess what? Obnoxious name, caller, gets inspiration kinds of things. And then I get to inspire uh, with a minus one to one on things. And anything that has less than that, perhaps even the restless pyro maniac. All right. No. You didn't even recognize me anymore. Not that you knew me back then. So it all comes back to me in the end. The greedy merchant is challenged by the fire by the fight starter, but does not die. I'll lose one health. You also lose one health, but he was. Thank around. you very much, George. That was very good of you to do for you. No the problem. table. It doesn't even matter. You got it stuck in my head, man. It doesn't <laughs> even. It doesn't even matter. Guess what? Playing my champion. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Ava, that's eight points when I end my uh, turn. Why is it eight points? Uh, because Mauricio... You're going to have to attack with him and turn him hostile if you want that. So, attack yeah, this I, I will please. use to attack okay. Bailey. I will... Bailey. Uh, All right. And we've achieved a very rare 0-0 zero, zero denizen that's in play still. Hostile 0-0 zero, zero denizen. Yeah, hostile 0-0, zero, zero, desire to live denizen. I end my turn scoring eight points with these two cards past my turn. All right, I've... <sighs> I think I think George is the concern now. Fair enough. Yeah. I would be concerned too. I'll play History of Education. Play Killer B. I'll take a draw. That's pretty nice. I'll play Quiet Path. Oh, Look nice. at the top card of my deck. That's a nice one. Abandon my Grand Lecture Hall. I'll draw a card. I'll play Grand Fish Market. I got two denizens on board. I'll draw a card. So I play Treasure Hunter. Um, I use Treasure Hunter's ability. I go to four. Then I will play the Legend Farmer and use the Legend Farmer. Let's play an Erase Memory on that Mauricio. Oh, that's very clever. Okay, so since he's lost all his abilities, oh. um, during the next upkeep check, he's going to be removed. So that was very brilliant, Ivan. Thank you, thank you. So go ahead and remove this, George, from play, please. Thank you. It hasn't happened yet, though, has it? Uh, so, uh, so oh, sorry. Upkeep in this game is checked after every time you perform a turn action. Not, not. It's oh, not okay. a, it's, yeah, it's not like MTG upkeep. Sorry. Yeah, I don't want to play this now, but I think I should. So I'll play reconsider. Um, okay, my strategic strategic advice, and I'll pass turn. I think that's everything I can do. All right. Uh, I'll get my gold for turn. Get my phase counters. Use my free draw. All right. So bomb research. It is three juicy. Damage. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. It's the most value for me. Fine. True. It's fine. 
Um, all right, and then I'm gonna activate start fights, and I'm gonna have the killer bees challenge this merchant. That's fine. So what th what that means is on George's next turn, the merchant has to attack into the killer bees. Is he's forced to attack? Right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put uh, challenge one here, uh, just to keep track of that. So th so challenge one is thus. Uh, fight starter himself will challenge this guy here, the obnoxious name caller. Okay. So this is going to be challenge two. So we'll use this reminder here. Okay. So attack needs to make okay. be made dustly. All right. Okay. Um, three gold. So I'm going to play one, two, three, assert dominance. And then I'm going to go ahead and play Grindon. And I've got an attack here. I might as well make it anyways. Sorry, Ivan. One more attack into your farmer with this guy. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, he's already hostile. I might as well get value off that. Um, all right, and then I will end my turn scoring three points because I have one Dunizen with four more power. Great. All right, pass it over to you, Kim. I'll start with my free draw and play Javelin Chucker and Craftsman's Apprentice paying the tax on it. Then I'm going to swing Bailey into Ava. Just to slow that down maybe a little bit. Uh, literal blacksmith versus a literal child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we are at turn six. That means we are at six gold. We are on phase one of history education. Actually, and according I to the lore, to... Ava is 18. So technically she's not a child, but yeah. Very young. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, wow. That's I actually did not. That's, that's actually interesting. So I draw my card for history <laughs> education. I also have a free draw that I might as well take advantage now because yep, you might as well. I'm going to play Termination Notice uh -oh. and a Restraining Order. Oh, boy. Whoa, Nelly. I'm going to sell my roadblock since it's useless. Get back two gold. Uh, yep. Crazy. I'm going to use one gold, put that in here, get back two gold, play uh, my campaign Wholehearted Dedication. Oh. All right. Very nice. Abandoned. Oh, yeah. All right. That's fair. Fair beans. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I am forced to attack the killer bees. Therefore, right. this is now longer in play. <laughs> and this is forced and challenged by, I believe, him. That's the Firestar. Right. So he loses one. But I am gone. But he is gone. So I have nothing there. And I end my turn and pass. I'll go up a counter. I'll take my ray draw. Let's uh, use my education to draw another card. And I'll use Farmer to go up a gold. I will abandon my hidden cave. Draw a card. I'll play for three. And I'll play Trend. And I'll score four points. Oh, getting dangerous. Yeah, I'm going to use Trend to reconsider. Interesting. I'll end my turn and score two points using Trend. Very I'll nice. pass turn. All right, get my goal for turn, get my phase counters, free draw. Okay. All right, so I'm oh, going to uh, activate Grindon's routine ability, giving Fight Starter one more power. And then I'm going to activate Assert Dominance. I'm going to have Fight Starter get one more power. And then I'm going to deal damage equal to Fight Starter's power to another Denizen. And the Denizen I'm choosing is this right here, Javelin Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. That makes sense, though. All right. Yeah, it does. And then the fight starter will attack into the restraining order, of dealing course, four damage to it because that makes that makes way more sense. Yep. And then the barbarian is going to attack into the craftsman's apprentice, dealing four damage to it. Grindon himself is going to attack into Junila, turning mm -hmm. himself hostile. I'm going to play fight starter. I'm going to activate start fights, and I'm going to have Tren challenge Bailey. So these two are now in a blood feud. And on your turn, you're going to have to attack into trend with your Bailey. I'm going to have this fight starter challenge your farmer. Uh, so this is going to have to attack into this on your turn, Ivan. I'm going to go ahead and play bomb research. And then I'm going to go ahead and play and use Restless Pyromaniac to deal two damage to your termination notice. <laughs> yeah, you should have used that, George, like last turn. Yeah, he didn't have gold. He wanted to do this. Right. Uh, All right. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, let's see. All right, so now I'm going to end my turn, and Grinnon is going to see these two individuals that have four more power and score six points, going up to nine. Yeah. Using my one gold, passing it to you, Kim. 
I'll start off with gaining my gold and drawing a free card. I'll play two for a Javelin Chucker. Oh, and wow, get yeah, my remaining okay. five for a Demoralize. Because I have to pay the <laughs> yep. uh, alignment tax on it. Then I'm going to be forced to attack my Bailey into this guy. All right. Mm. So they trade. Uh, yep. And I'll pass my turn. Okay. Turn seven. Phase two. Well, first, draw a card. Mm. With free draw? No, that was that was from history education. Okay, so you still have your free draw? Okay. And I still have my free draw, which I'll use now, actually. Okay. I'm going to use my chromatic. I'm going to put my chromatic ring into play. You're aligned to everything. Then I play my Astute Scholar, which gives me two more cards. Now I'm going to use Drive Insane. Oh, Ooh. no. All right. Well. At random. I think I have everything I can do as of this turn, so I will end it and pass. First things first, I'm going to put Connor in my History of Education. I'm going to go up a gold through Farmer. I'll take my free draw. No, I will use my History of Education to draw a card. As much as it pains me, I'll get rid of this hidden, hidden cave. Well, at least one of my concerns is gone that you don't have the Freedom Fighter. Oh, Kazen? Yeah. I, I had no Kazen. unique denizens in my hand. Yeah. I might draw into him. You don't know. You don't know what's in my deck. <laughs> True. I think Kazen could be a very, very quick win. That's right. If I do top deck to Kazen, the game is over. But that's or assuming I top deck Kazen. Two. You better get. You should. You should start stacking points before turn ten happens. Because someone. Because Al. Because Alvin is getting. I mean, the crazy thing is, I through all that, Ivan can still win. He's got nine gold now. So if he plays something that costs four, uh, five or more, and then oh, does geez. that again on his turn nine, he will still win this game. So watch out for that. Yeah, it's very true. So, I think I'll do this. Um, I'll play my Junila for three. Okay. I'll play Junila's Curiosity. Very fitting that she's on the board, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Flavor and win. I'll play... Yeah, lower accurate win. <laughs> um, I wish I could stop you, Elvin. Um, play him. Pay for it and go up four points to 15. Very nice. And I'll use my arrival effect. Look at your guys' hand and discard one. Would you like to look at my empty hand? Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I, was, I was eyeing that hand you had. <laughs> All right, let's see what you have, Kim. Man, I was actually really hoping you had an item that I could discard. You don't really no, have no. anything. No, oh, interesting. I, um, no item for Kim, eh? Yeah. I'm dis discarding this Master of Craftsman because it's the best, next best thing. And let's check out your hand, George. You have quite a hand here, so let me make sure that you're not winning next turn. No, no Yumi Avid Painters in his hand? No painters. Do you have a painter in your deck, George? My lips are sealed. If I don't have her now and, and I draw her, you're just going to be mad when you see her play. So let's <laughs> let's see what happens, right? Yep. I'd be excited. I'd be excited. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot of things here that are dangerous. This is a very discard-heavy... Uh, so technically speaking, game. Ivan, if you want to make a deal... What's your deal? Don't tell them about the last card on the left. Oh, okay. Really? You're going to use that card next turn? Well, I mean, if... You... Well, the thing is, George, I okay. don't want you to use that card on me. So... I don't. I know, but don't tell them. So, George... Maybe I won't use it. The thing is... Okay, Yo. sure. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Fair enough. I'm going to get rid of this card. Ah. Oh, Termination. Fair enough. Okay. Yep. So remember, you it do is. still have one more attack you have to make before you. I your do. Turn. You're right. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah. So let's do that. I think I did everything I can do. So let's do that. Okay. And I pass my turn. All right. I'm gonna get my gold and get my phase counters. Four cards in my hand. Despite all the things that we did to Ivan, he could actually still win on his next turn. He <laughs> only needs five more points. On his next turn, he's gonna have nine gold. He could potentially play. Junila, even if I get rid of it, and then another thing that costs five, and literally take it, even despite all that's been done to him. All right, free draw. All right, not what I was hoping for. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, he could just win in with one card. Mm hmm Yes. All right, let's go ahead and abandon this. Draw another card. Not 
remotely what I was looking for. So, all right, let's get this started. So first things first, I'm gonna have Brendan activate his routine ability, giving fight starter one more power. And then I'm gonna have assert dominance uh, activate and give fight starter one more power, deal four damage to this denizen here, completing this campaign. Okay. And then this bomb research is going to, let's see. Uh, okay, so I'm actually more scared of this. So bomb research is gonna ping your astute scholar. Wow, all right. And then start fights. Jeez. There's really only two options. Um, you know what? Maybe I'm not even gonna bother using start fights here because I, I want to guarantee that things are gonna play out the way I want. So I'm gonna spend one goal to have this guy deal two damage to the javelin chucker. So then I'm gonna have the pyromaniac attack into Junila. Yeah. And then I'm gonna have these two guys attacking to your dislocation here. And then these two guys attacking to your dislocation here. I'm just gonna let this expire, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna play another assert dominance for five gold because I'm no, no longer aligned. And you're ending the turn with a casual 18. So. Yes, a casual 18. So, yeah, I'm going to end the turn. Uh, I'm going to score one, two, three times three points to go up to 18. And then I'm going to lose this. And then I'm going to lose my unspent gold. And then I'll pass it over to you, Ken. Yeah. Wonderful. I'll draw a card. Ooh. And I will play a restraining order. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'll use my demoralize on this. And this. Yep. Use my restraining order mm -hmm. uh, to banish Barbarian. Yep. And play Greedy Merchant for three, since I don't have the alignment. And oh. Jane uh, I mean, not Janela, Bailey for two. Cool. And lose mm -hmm. my gold as I pass my turn. So I have a free draw and a draw from History Education. Let's just wrap that up. I'm drawing mm -hmm. two cards. That's resolved. And then you can just activate this right now and just remember for the rest of your turn, you have double points just to get it off the board. Okay. If I score any points this turn, they are double points. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play my Denzian, the obnoxious name caller. I'm going to play Statue of the Beloved Queen and give him plus one on that. I'm going to abandon this for another draw. I also now, I now play Preventive Measures. Oh, man. For each opponent, search the player's deck and remove up to one card from it, then have the player shuffle their deck. Draw a card. If he has a Kazen, could you get rid of that? Let's see. Yeah, Kazen yes. will win. You know what? This let me look. Brutal. Let me see. Let me see Alvin's deck right now. Yep. Uh, Ivan, what is the winning card for you? It was already a problem before, so the senior technician is now gone. Yep. Great. And what Can hotel I shuffle, Ivan, did please? you have, Kim? Nothing that could win me the game, definitely. And now for my draw. Yeah, drawing from preventive measures, yeah. I don't know if you already know this, but you have what's on board to get rid of my Pyromaniac, which takes me off the win. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, oh, you because you have inspiration unlock now. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I will use my obnoxious name caller to use uh, their inspiration of reducing you down to 1-1. One, one. Yep. And then off he goes. Okay. So, that so stops Ivan actually has the highest chance to win now. Efficient workflow. And I also play Demoralize. And I end my turn and pass. Okay. okay. Draw from History of Education. I'll take my free draw. Okay, and then this is gone now. It is. So I'll activate my Janila's Curiosity and I'll put this into the bottom of my deck. Yes. So this card into the bottom of my deck. I'll play Efficient Workflow for... Five. Uh, five. And I'll play Explore the Unknown. Oh, go ahead, right now. Alvin. Get gold, get my phase counters. <sighs> All right, free draw. Nope, not even close. <laughs> All right, I mean, then... I'll just slow down the rest of you, I guess. So bomb research, we really? do one damage to this. Yep. This will pump up my Grindon and deal... Do it to the chromatic ring. Sure, I'll deal five damage to this. Get that out of there, George. Huzzah. Duel at sunset for three. And I'm going to have Obnoxious Name Caller challenge Bailey. So on your turn, Kim, okay. Bailey's going to have to attack into this. Great. And then this, I mean, is there any point really? He's already, yeah, I'll just attack into this, deal five damage to it. Not even enough to do anything, oh boy. but yeah. All right, and my turn, pass A. Dangerous path into my inactive. I'm going to abandon it to draw a card. Yep. 
Uh, I'm going to play Crowded Stadium, and then I'm going to play Hidden Crag, and then I'm going to demoralize. Uh, all right, so demoralize yeah. on these two. Yep. Uh, and now Bailey doesn't have to attack uh, into that, but it can only attack into that. I'm assuming, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not not that so there's anything attack. else for you to attack now. Oh, there literally there literally is not. Um, <laughs> I guess. All right. So I have a free draw. I play no, turn nine, do Kalnea City of Light. What? You're drawing him into <laughs> options. <laughs> Whatever. Insane. <laughs> yeah, I abandoned him. Why would you do this, George? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's I mean. The last, that's, the last card of the, that's the last card in this whole game that I, no, that I would you, hear. No, you don't understand why it's amazing. I play Chromatic Ring for one, and I activate Efficient Workflow. All right, and then now you have Inspiration Unlocked because you've played three cards so far. Yes. Well, then I also play Quick Learner. I also play Dishearten. I am Disheartening right. Bailey. All right, so now you've played Location, four. Item, Tactic, Denizen. So you're going to score four points unless you have a campaign that you want to play. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Ivan, was that deal for that turn, or was it for the rest of this game? Well... I mean, I don't actually know. Uh, no, I I'm gonna I leave know, it. But, 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 I'll, if but if I play this card, am I betraying you right now? Um, I wouldn't say yes or no. But the thing is, I don't think I would appreciate it if you didn't use it because then I, I mean, won't. Was, then I oh. won't. It's all right. Let me let's let's see, let's watch you do it. I want to see it now. I activate inspiration of Yumi, the avid painter's card. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. I'll take my turn. I'll go up some counters. I'll go up to ten gold. I'm gonna activate efficient work. Yes. Okay. I'll take my turn. Draw. I'll use explore the unknown. This is nerve wracking because I know, I know you have the best RNG in this game, and I think yeah, it's a very good chance. I'll, you I'll see it. I'll tell you guys what the what my last card was after after this. Last okay, turn. it was a drive insane, and I wonder if it would have made a difference. <laughs> Yeah, he knew. You counting cards. I play familiar road. I'm choosing blue. George, no! What are you doing? I will play another familiar road, and I choose green. Man, this guy needs Exodia to win this. Yeah, straight up, man. It feels like I'm collecting. <laughs> it feels like I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm trying to get Exodia. Put the together. You're trying to draw into it. Yeah. Uh, let's play Junila. I'll play Mia. Oh three so if i get a hidden that wouldn't win me the game right or would it because i would be paying one counter it yeah, would it would all right just making sure all right so that being said uh play oh. Adrian. yeah that's that that won't do anything that's fine and i'll use Adrian. oh my good oh my goodness all right <laughs> <laughs> on two accounts. i haven't won anyways went on two accounts great wonderful thank you mm -hmm. and i'll reveal it and i'll mm -hmm. get a hidden Mm -hmm. right. patch, right. put a counter, and go yes. up to 20. All right. Correct. Because even after all it that... Took, it, it took three unique denizens, but I did it. <laughs> oh, brutal. And yeah, speaking... The only turn condition about using drive and... Like, it's like there's no there's no point. Like, last turn, that's why I asked you. Because if I, yeah. if I had used it, that's it. Okay, You're so, done. but the yeah. thing, the thing is, if you mm -hmm. use Drive Insane, you actually had a good chance to win that, right? But then by you not using Drive Insane, you basically just gave it to Ivan, right? Yeah. No, that's what I, that's the thing, right? Because I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to see if he could want for one, it's like challenges, yeah. like, could he win yeah. from that spot? Like, and he pulled it off. Uh, oh man, I stumbled completely onto how powerful Yumi is powering a, a, mm. a, a Mauricio and an Ava deck. I did not with with blue. I did not know that the purple kids needed the blue to win. I did not know that, but now I know that. So I mean, I you can pair it with anything, right? Yeah. The the whole point is that it's it's custom. Yeah, I pair my purple pair red, and one. I have a fun time. No, I mean like I never knew. I never put it together. Like I knew the Mauricio and the Ava combo, but I couldn't think of like why I would use Yumi in most cases for my current purple dreams deck. Like Purple yeah. Dreams V1 Indigo, and this, V3. This one you called Indigo Dreams. This one I called Indigo because I added a little bit more purple and a, and ah, and see. mostly and blue. I see. And Kim, how did you feel about the performance of your deck today? 
Uh, I definitely had a lapse in deck building. I definitely mm -hmm. think uh, I should put more card draw in it. Ah, uh, okay. No yeah, worries. Cause, um, yeah, because yeah, one of Bailey's or one of the weaknesses of Bailey's is that um, she runs out of cards really quick because you're you're yeah. using all your resources to blow up your own stuff. Um, as far as my game plan goes, I did a lot of controlling of the board. I was very happy about that. Uh, interesting to see that. Eight. Yeah, interesting to see that reducing Ivan to basically nothing was still not enough. He still took the game. So, I mean, I think honestly, you guys might have been right this whole time that I was a threat. I, you know, initially I thought that I was gonna rent out outright with my power on board, but you guys kind of forced me into a position that I had to trickle my way up till t turn ten, and it was loads of fun. And you know, I think it was really close. I, I, I GG everyone. Yeah, GG. great game, Ivan. Yeah, good game. Fantastic. All right, so that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching it as we did playing. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm waving. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>